Hello, this is Mr. Wirtz, and we will be working on angles, specifically uh, week one, day three angles, where we have um, in our Google Classroom page, classwork page, week one, day three angles. Let's click on that worksheet. And I have some hints over here. Let's take a look. We are going to be filling in answers in all of these blank spaces here. But let's go down to the questions. The questions are asking us to classify angles as straight, which is 180 degrees, right angle, which is a perfect 90 or a square. Obtuse angles are bigger than 90, but remember they are less than 180. So an obtuse angle could be 179 degrees or 91 degrees or anything in between. 90 degree angle, acute angle is anything 80 degrees or smaller, anything that looks smaller than a right angle. So let's take a look at some examples that we have. Down here on number one, we have the example that looks like that. Uh, over here on number one, you can see that example. And that is bigger than a right angle, but it is smaller than a straight. So this one, you will write in obtuse, big angle, obtuse. Number seven over here, that is a small, I call it cute angle because it's smaller than 90. So you will type in answer seven would be acute. You type in acute for answer seven, obtuse for answer one, and fill in the blanks for the rest of the answers. Going down to number 11 and the rest of those down there, you're writing the same words. A 144 degree angle is bigger than 90, but it's less than 180. So our 144 degree angle, we will once again write that word obtuse. The 23 degree angle, that is question number 12. That is smaller than 90. So we will write down in answer 12 that it is an acute angle. So write answers, type answers in the answer sheet that match up with what the picture looks like or what the degree number matches. So good luck with that. Let me know if you would like some extra help. And uh, let me know if you need anything else. I can set up more help, more uh, tutorials with Zoom meetings or other things. Good luck.